always distinguish between the Chinese government and the Chinese population. Unfortunately, Canadians of Chinese origin are far too often targeted. I ask all members in this House to support Canadians of Chinese origin in every riding throughout the country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member for Brentford, Brent. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister and his loyal Liberal caucus keep trying to distract, divide and cover up their failure to protect Canadians from foreign interference. Canadians deserve to know the truth about Beijing's interference in our elections. We need to learn exactly what the Prime Minister knew and what was done to defend our democracy. Will the Prime Minister finally identify all 11, all 11 federal candidates who receive funding from Beijing? Yes or no? The Honourable Minister for Safety. My colleague and all members in this chamber that we take foreign interference very seriously, which is why we have put in the people, the authorities, the resources, the technology to protect all of our institutions, including most especially our elections. And that is why last week we appointed Mr. Johnston, a former Governor General appointed by Stephen Harper, no less, Mr. Speaker, someone who is unimpeachable and who has the ability to put forward concrete recommendations, including and up to a public inquiry, which, if he does, this government will respect because we take the work of protecting our democratic institutions very seriously and we are committed to, con to con continue doing that. Thank you. For Brantford, Brent. That isn't the truth that Canadians expect. Just recently, Global News revealed that two high-level national security reports before and after the 2019 election suggest the Prime Minister's office was warned about Chinese government officials and the direct funding they were given to Liberal candidates. However, the Prime Minister continues to express that the information was never shared with him directly. The question now is simple. Who in the Prime Minister's office deliberately and intentionally withheld the information from him, and will he be terminating that person, yes or no? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, this is a government that believes in taking foreign interference with the utmost seriousness, which is why we have raised the bar when it comes to being transparent in how we are doing that work through the creation of NCCOP, through the creation of the National Security Intelligence Review Agency. And now with Mr. Johnston's appointment as the Special Rapporteur, he will put forward the next best practical steps so that we can continue to reinforce our democratic institutions, including our elections. Mr. Speaker, this is not a partisan issue. It is one that all members should unite behind, and I hope that that will include the Conservatives as well. Honourable Member for Lethbridge. We see this over.